Here I am. My name is Henry. We're supposed to go on patrol together? I see you're kitted out. Ready to get going. I'm Nightingale. Aren't you that lad the mill wench brought here on a cart? Teresa. Yes, she rescued me. She turned up with Captain Robard and his knights. All honor to the girl. She has bigger balls than most men. Tell me, how did you pay her back? Well, I, um... I thanked her. That's not much, is it? You should go and see her when you get a chance. So, how did you end up in the service of the bailiff? I don't want to be kicking around in the dirt while other men do honest work. You're an evil, aren't you? Come with me, Henry. We'll patrol the town and then check on the taverns to make sure they lock up in the evening. I'm ready. Don't forget, I'm supposed to try you out and, with the help of God, teach you something. So I expect you to deal with any misconduct yourself. I'll make sure you don't do anything too stupid. Let's go. This is our church, St. Matthew's. It serves not only as the house of God, but as the crypt of the Lords of Lipa, our masters. The gravedigger lives right round the corner. The priest, too. Our parish priest. Ah, a man shouldn't speak ill about servants of the Lord. For the love of God. I've this is our rat house. Pretty big, eh? The bailiff and his hands live there, and our maestro proto notarius, the scribe. And the jailhouse. You don't want to see the inside, not even as a guard. Naturally, we have an executioner too, but he doesn't live in town. That wouldn't be proper, as I'm sure you know. He lives by Gallows Hill, the other side of the creek. This pillory was brand new in autumn, and two people have already been rotting on it. The swordsmith lives here. What the hell is going on here now? Go and check it out, Henry. If you won't go to the church, go back to your people. I don't want you here. Is that manure pile not big enough for you? What are you two screaming about? Stop making such a ruckus. About time you turned up. This filthy beggar thinks. My name is Jane. No one cares what your name is. This filthy beggar thinks she can come and stink in front of my shop. I want you to get rid of her. Must you sit here, of all places? Yes, I do. Why? Fog drive me away wherever I sit. I can't keep walking all day and night. What's the problem here? This is my shop. And I won't have beggars sitting on my doorstep. Let her go and squat in the square. She won't be in anyone's way there, and there's plenty of folk to beg from. Can't you show her some Christian charity, Armour? What? Have you any idea how much I've given away in alms, even to this witch only yesterday? Is that true? Might be. Might not. Did you get any arms or not? Yes. From the armourer here? I don't know. And even if I did, that was yesterday, and my belly's empty again today. Well, that's true. What would you know about it? Here, Jane. Take this and be on your way. Yes. You. I'll go right away, right away. God bless you, Henry. And what happens if she comes again tomorrow? You give her more? You're making a mistake. Give them coin once and you'll never see the back of them. If you say so.
Your old neighbours are living here now. It's a bit of a shithole. Even so, you should be thankful to Sir Hanush. If the town burghers got their way, your folk wouldn't be let anywhere near the town. And now our people aren't too happy with him. Some fools are even calling for Sir Hanush to finally hand the fiefdom over to the young lord, Sir Hans Capon. Sir Hans's father, old Sir Yeshke, may God rest his soul, kept it till he was an old man. Then he retired from it, first to Moravia, then to eternity. Sir Hanush is managing the fiefdom until Sir Hans comes of age. They're related by blood somehow, the same great-great-grandfather or some such. The time's coming soon enough when the estates have to be handed over. These affairs often end in conflict. I hope we have nothing like that here. This square here, it looks much better during the markets. Then it's filled to bursting with folk from all around. We've also got the baker's shop here and that mad merchant Wolfram Pruder. Pruder has a pretty daughter, but he keeps her on a short reign, which the young bucks are none too happy about. I heard he even keeps the poor lass locked up at home all day. Look here. See that filthy beggar? By Christ, I'll show the bastard. Comfortable, are we? Arms, please, sir. Who do you take me for? Are you stupid or just insolent? Well, what's the matter? Stupid, then. There's no begging allowed here, so pick up your stinking arse and haul it somewhere else. Who am I bothering here? Me. Us. Everyone. If Sir Hanush saw you here, he'd take a whip to you. All right, all right, I'm going. Damn beggars. You offer them a helping hand, and they want the whole arm. It's not like the rules aren't clear. Beggars belong at the church. There's one alehouse here on the market square, the trader's tavern. The other's up by the gate. We'll be going there later. Let's move along to the inner bailey. Here's the forge. The blacksmith has some trouble and he's not working at the moment, but his apprentice is standing in for him tolerably. I hear you're a blacksmith's apprentice too. You lot could help if needed, couldn't you? Us? What do you mean? You and your master, or your father, whoever taught you. They... What is it, lad? My father was the master blacksmith. He was killed in Scalitz. Ah, I'm sorry. I didn't know. Thank you. So am I. My papa died not long ago. Of course, it was old age got him. That's not the same, but I know a little how you feel. Rate Rate fiefdom is pretty big. Naturally, it starts here by the town. Along the town, all the way to the north. No, 
Royhoff. Nerhoyed. Master Smill is in charge of Sir Hanush's stables. He's by far his best vassal. It's all a bit complicated for a newcomer, I suppose. This lord here, that lord there, this exemption here, that right there. Exemptions from exemptions, rights to half of something, so on. It'd take you a year to make head or tail of it. This tower was only half the size when I was a young lad. Sir Hanush had it extended and made into an armory. God be with you, Benesh. How goes it? Well enough, Nightingale. It's quiet today. Good, but where's Moimir anyway? He's supposed to be with you. Ah, yes. He hasn't turned up yet. Oh, I see. Now where might he have got to then? I don't know. You don't know, eh? Let me tell you something. When the bailiff finds out Moimir's slacking off, he'll be in serious shit. And being a friend of his, you wouldn't want that, would you? No. So it's better if I deal with it and we leave the bailiff out of it, right? Um, yes, I suppose so. So where is he? Uh, in the tavern. He was thirsty, so he... Went for an ale. We know how that goes. Come on, Henry. Let's go and find that idler, and you'd better talk some sense into him. What the fuck are you doing here when you're supposed to be on the gate? Nah. Move your carcass and don't guard the gate. Uh, I... Not a word. Get moving. You're lucky it was me found out, not the bailiff. Oh, God forbid, Captain Bernard. Out! Come and sit with me, Henry. Let's have a drink. Fool got me all worked up. Shouldn't we be on patrol instead of drinking? You're eager, aren't you? Don't worry, even watchmen are entitled to a break. Except the ones on the gate and the tower, of course. But that's enough about that. Let's not let it spoil our day. Listen, since we're sitting here anyway, how about a little game? Why not? You're a brave soul taking me on. I'm not used to losing.
here. Enjoy it. Any chance of a bite to eat? That's it. This will be the one. All right, all right. That's all. Here, enjoy it. That'll do me. That's it. Your turn. Great. Just... Just one more thing and we're done for the night. Ringing the end of the day and closing the taverns. Isn't it still a bit early? I don't know how it was in Scarlet, but here in Rate we close up at this hour. Except, of course, during fairs and big festivals. Then we don't close at all. I see. Should I go and ring the bell? If you wouldn't mind, the bell is hanging outside the rat house. Ring three times, then go to the trader's tavern by the market square and make sure the innkeeper closes up. I'll do that. Before I forget, it's forbidden to walk in Rate at night without a torch. Here, 
Take this one. Something at least. But they lost everything they had. Those bastards ransacked their whole homestead and burned the house to cinders. I'm trying to help them, but I'm not doing so good myself right now. Well, let's hope Sigismund finally fucks off back to Hungary so we can put Scalas to rights. These are dark days and no mistake. Folk are dying left and right, losing the roofs over their heads and their livelihood. All on account of the nobles' quarrels. God rest old Emperor Charles. We had peace and order when he ruled. Aye, ah, those were the days. And the canon of St. Wenceslas in Olomouc was so drunk, <laughs> he dragged the pig to the market square, saddled it up, <laughs> and rode it out of the town gate. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 we can, we can see, we can see that this wasn't going to end well. So, Sir Peter and I rode off to look for the good canon on his pig. <laughs> they do find him. <laughs> we tracked the filthy beast down to a sty beyond Cronau. I mean, the beast with a tonsier on its head. <laughs> <laughs> we never found the real pig, but the Reverend was sound asleep in the pigsty. <laughs> Birds of a feather stick together. It seems the same goes for pigs and planets. <laughs> I toast, gentlemen, to pigs and planets. God save them, bacon. <laughs> Sir Hans, forgive my intrusion, but I need... Oh, but what? You uh, want to join us? Want to... Buyers around. <laughs> I'm afraid we don't drink with peasants. You're not in your village now, boy. No, sir. <laughs> Curfew's been rung. The alehouse is closing. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing closes while I'm sitting here. If that's all, you're dismissed. Are you out of your mind, lad? You can't cross his lordship. He's got a temper like a bear with gut egg. If I was you... I get lost before he shows it. The bailiff instructed me to close the tavern at the proper hour. He doesn't want anyone disturbing the peace after curfew. The bailiff? The bailiff can kiss my ass. I trust you haven't forgotten who's the rightful lord of Ratte. No, it's Sir Hannes. Oh, is he here? What is he? He's hiding under the table, maybe. <laughs> no, then what he wants isn't worth a fart in a bathhouse. And besides, he's only in charge till I grow up. <laughs> Which clearly hasn't happened yet. Enough! You can't talk to me like that. I'm a nobleman. Come now, sirs. You're not going to fight here, are you? We most definitely are. This yokel needs to be taught his place.
teach them it's not happening when I have me. That'll teach you how to talk to your betters. Don't let him have it, sir. Are you going to cry? Beat him down. Give that bastard something to remember you. Fucker! Teach that insolent. Crucifix! What in the name of Christ is happening here? Well, answer me, damn you! This peasant insulted me. I had to teach him a lesson. By rolling around in the mud like a hog? That's a fine example of noble conduct. Sir Hannes, the bailiff ordered me to... Silence! You shut your mouth and thank your lucky stars that you are Radzig's ward. Have you gone out of your mind? Raising your hand to a nobleman? And you, Hans, how many times have I told you that drinking with your subjects might be good for their morale, but it's bad for your honor? <sighs> you spend all your days drinking and chasing wenches, which wouldn't matter if you paid any attention at all to your duties. And now we see what that leads to. Tomorrow, you will go with me to a hearing. Some landowners have asked me to settle a dispute. It'll be an excellent lesson for you. I had planned to go hunting, but if you think listening to the pointless gripes of a bunch of old fools will benefit me, so be it. Oh, hunting. Well then, Your Grace, I'll tell you what. You can go hunting. Really? Oh, naturally. Who am I to deprive the young Lord Capon of his sport? And you can take Henry here as your page. Well, him? Absolutely not. You'll do as I've commanded. It's time you learned how to lead people, and not just in drinking and brawling. Now get out of my sight. Sir, I have responsibilities to the bailiff. Not I anymore. Your responsibilities now are to Lord Capon. It's time you learned how to behave in the presence of nobility. Let's go. Tell the kitchen I'm hungry. It's been a long journey.
I'm glad to see you. Take care. What's going on there?
can't just walk around in the dark. You have to have a light. It's the law. God be with you. Are you the brawler who takes bets? What's it to you? I'm a Scalitz refugee, and I'd like to try my luck against you. Hang on, I know who you are. And I'll only fight you for silver. Got it? Why for silver? Do I really have to tell you? Look at yourself, and then look at the others. All they've got to wager is their labor. But you, you've got coin. Are there any rules? Aye, a couple. Whoever lands on his arse or runs, loses. And no knives, axes, or any of that shit. You'll forfeit your wager for that, got it? Farewell. I could do with a bite to eat. Let's fight. I told you, don't come back to me till you've beaten Stephen and Ringlet, got it? Take care now.
Here I am. I'm overjoyed. Have you got a horse? No, sir. Where would someone like me get a horse? Good point. Unless it was a cart horse, I suppose. Well, you'll just have to trot along behind me like a good dog. But, sir, isn't there a horse I could borrow? Oh, certainly. Why don't you just have mine? Or, then again, you can just run alongside as befits a peasant. Take care now. Yes, sir. Anush was right. I should have behaved differently. More, well, gentlemanly. But that doesn't mean you are in the right. You can't throw a lord out of the tavern in his own town. Understand? Yes. I, I was just... What? Speak up! Don't worry, I won't bite your head off. It's just that when you said those things in huh? the arena, sir, I, I was um, a little upset. Ah! I'd just like to tease Greenhorns a little. And you vexed me too. You were insolent to Captain Bernard and they rewarded you with service. Whenever I do anything reckless, even if it's for my honour, Hanush is on my back about it and I get punished. Like now. I didn't mean to threaten anyone. Well, it's all water under the bridge. Let's not spoil our hunt. else. Is this your first time hunting? This kind, yes. I've been hunting since I could walk. If you're not a complete blockhead, you might learn something useful. And if you don't cock it up entirely today, maybe I'll take you again. It's always helpful to have a minion at hand. As I said, I have hunted before, but it wasn't... Chasing bunnies with a pitchfork isn't hunting. Observe and learn. I'll do the best I can. Oh, I don't know if... Um, that is, sir, I don't know if that's a suitable topic of conversation for the hunt. We're not hunting yet. I'd like to hear about it at last from someone who was actually there. The Cumans attacked Scallops and, um... Oh, anyone who didn't flee. That's what they all say. I want details. Is it really necessary, sir? Arguing with the nobility again, eh? It seems you're a bit of a rebel. No, not at all, sir. It's just that, well, it's hard for me to talk about. I see. So I'll have to get you drunk first. I'm not sure even that would work. We'll have to find out, won't we? There's a nice little place just north of here. We'll camp there and you can tell me all about it. If you wish, sir. And don't dilly-dally. Let's try and get there before the day's I've out. I've got this plan.
We'll make camp here. Bring me wine and bacon from the saddlebag. Coming up, sir. At long last. So, are you enjoying being on the hunt? I am, although we haven't actually hunted anything yet. That doesn't matter. Hunting is a diversion. The main thing is to get out of Rate for a while. Listening to Hanush's lectures all day long would drive anyone mad. If I may ask, sir, what does a lord like you do all day? When I was little, I was awfully bored, I can tell you. There was always some courtier or teacher dogging my footsteps. Now I spend most of my time trying to learn from Sir Hanush. Governing is no joke. At least most of the time. Only last week I had to listen to complaints from my subjects. But that could be interesting too, couldn't it? <laughs> my lord, this yokel here empties his piss pot in my yard. And sir, that old hag put a spell on my cow. And sir, my old woman is fucking half the village. Like a flock of sheep bleating all the time. Even study is more interesting. How come Hanush looks after you anyway? For a start, he doesn't look after me. I'm not an infant blacksmith's boy. Hanush is just managing my property until I'm an adult. When will that happen? What are you implying? Nothing. I didn't mean it like that. I meant that you seem quite adult to me already, so... Well, I mean, it's hard to say. Before he died, my father appointed a council of nobles to decide the matter. Only they can't be bothered travelling halfway across the country just to assess the claim of some stripling. Under normal circumstances, it wouldn't be necessary. The king would decide on my adulthood. Only... The king is gone. Just so. What are we going to hunt? Cumans. What? Cumans? I got you there. <laughs> we'll see what we can get. But I'd like to bag a boar. One, at least. And a few hares, too, eh? But what about you? Before I couldn't get a word out of you, now your tongue's loosened. So, tell me about Scallets. I heard Sigismund had a hundred banners there. I don't know, sir. I didn't have time to count them. Both of my parents were killed in Scalitz, right in front of my eyes. The Cumans slaughtered my friends and neighbours, and it was a miracle I got away. I don't know what else I can add. I'm sorry about that. But tell me, I heard in the tavern... What, that Sigismund flew down on a dragon? That the Cumans have horns and hooves? I'm sorry, my lord, but for me, Scalitz isn't a tale of adventure to share over a tankard of ale. All right. I understand. Well, never mind. Anyway, it's too late to go anywhere today. But tomorrow we set off at first light. Got it? Yes, sir.
feel quite hungry. 